Welcome to the White Glove Demo for Patrician. In Patrician, players are the master builders of Italy, competing to help the Patrician families of Italian towns, such as Roma, Firenze, and Milano, build the tallest, most magnificent towers. Plumber, if I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times. Stop pretending to knock down landmarks. We have a game to explain. Besides, we're playing with much older towers. Winning a game of Patrician involves contributing the most floors to the largest number of towers around Italy, collecting prestige points. Each player starts with a pile of tower pieces and three randomly chosen starting cards, indicated by the asterisk in the upper right corner of the card. Only use the orange building cards and the side of the board with Pistoia if playing with five players. Setup in Patrician is simple. Each city has two prestige tokens that match the color of the city. Place those in the round spaces next to the city. Shuffle the building cards and place one face up on the space next to each city. The total number of floors that can be built in a city is shown by the Roman numeral in the city's crest. Verona can have a total of five floors across two towers. Glover, show us how a turn works. Glover shows and keeps a card with a brown Milano crest. So he can play one floor in Milano. Then Glover gets to take the face-up building card next to Milano and replace it from the deck. If the deck is depleted and the card could not be replaced, take any one face-up card. Once all of the floors in a city are constructed, the city is scored immediately. The taller tower awards the higher point value prestige token, and the token goes to the player who contributed the most floors. Glover, as black, you have the most floors in the taller tower, so you get the token worth five points. Keep that until the end of the game. Glover? Glover, can you please wait until we're done? Thank you. Where were we? Ah, if two or more players have the same number of floors, the token goes to the player with the floor closest to the top. Here, red would get the lesser prestige token. Not all building cards are the same. Cards let you play one floor for each crest on the card, in the city that matches the crest on the card. This card would let you place two floors. The portraits on some cards can be saved for a bonus at the end of the game. Cards with this icon mean that after building, the player can take any face-up card and replace it instead of only the card next to the city indicated by the crest. After playing a floor, this card lets the current builder move the top floor of any tower to another tower in the same city. If the red player plays this card, she first plays a red floor in Luca. Then she can move the top floor of a tower with a few restrictions. She can't touch a tower that's been scored. She must pick a different city than where she just played, so red can't move a floor in Luca. You also must have at least one piece in a city to move a piece, so red cannot mess with Parma. Red chooses to move one of Glover's pieces to the smaller tower in Milano, giving her the majority for now. There are exactly as many crests in the building deck as there are floors to construct, so keep taking turns until all of the towers are built and the deck is gone. Remember that every city must have two towers, so if placing the last piece in a city and one building site is empty, that last floor must be built in the empty spot. At the end of the game, the player with the most points wins. Many points come from prestige tokens, but some come from the patrician portraits on building cards collected during play. Every three matching portraits add six victory points to the total from your prestige tokens. This row has five matching portraits, so there is only one complete set of three worth six extra points. This row has six matching portraits, so there are two complete sets of three worth 12 extra points. 
This row has only two matching portraits, so no bonus points are awarded. Once Italy is completely built, the player with the highest total of victory points from prestige tokens and matching portraits wins. That's how you play Patrician, the game of Italian tower building. Glover, we've finished explaining how to play Patrician. Now you can... yeah, that. <laughs>